Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am joined by Luca, who is going to be showing us how to pose men. Um, I know a lot of you have been requesting it and lots of you have been interested in seeing it. So we are going to show you today what to do and what not to do in front of the camera. Make sure to follow Luca on Instagram. I'm going to tag him down below in the description and let's get into the video. But before we do, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell button to not miss any of my future uploads. I find any time I shoot with men, it's always easier for me to get them to sit down because it gives them a bit more variety of poses and it gets them a bit more relaxed into the shot. So this is what I'm going to be showing to you first. Um, guys have much more limited movements than girls, I feel like. And, you know, when you're taking photos of them, it's important to kind of have them a bit more kind of like sloppy and, you know, not super stiff and kind of like... Nice to kind of just have a bit more... Perfect, yeah. Cool. That's great. Yeah, that's very really nice about that. Another thing that I really like to do and usually works pretty well is instead of just sitting straight like that, it's good maybe if you put your hands up on the bench a tiny bit and maybe, you know, rest your head on it. Yeah, exactly. So it kind of creates a bit more. I find that to create an interesting shot, I always get my models to bend their limbs because it creates interesting angles. It is much better than just having them sit straight with their arms and the legs. It just looks kind of awkward. And when you get them to relax a bit and sit back and create some angles with their arms and their legs, it looks much more comfortable and it's just like they are hanging out. Now, another thing that we can do is we can sit you up on top of the bench and then the legs down. Yeah, exactly. So again, instead of just like sitting straight, he's kind of leaning on his legs. So it creates a bit more, more um, dimension in the shot. And what if you even like play, because you have so many rings, maybe if you like play with the rings. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. Perfect. So there's definitely a lot of varieties when it comes to sitting down. Even if you like, you know the way at the beginning you were sitting straight, if we can just maybe like sit just like here and just like I'll be kind of low down as well. So, yeah, yeah, exactly, perfect. So instead of just sitting straight, you know, you can kind of bend down or sit back. Just again, kind of like nice and slouchy in general works pretty well. Yeah, that's great. That's pretty nice for, whoo, for length. We don't fall. Perfect. Yeah. Usually the good vibe is to keep your models um, limbs bent. So there's no straight, straight lines. It's more like an angle. So like even you see now with his arms and with his legs, it's all kind of at an angle. So it just creates a bit more of a more interesting perspective rather than just, you know, having your hands straight down or whatever. It applies the same to standing poses and so on. It's just much more comfortable looking. Nice. And let's take one photo where your hands are like completely straight. So you can just, you can be sitting back, but just straight, yeah. Okay, and now bend. Yeah. Cool. And even, yeah, exactly one there. Perfect. So again, even with his body, he's kind of leaning back slightly or leaning sideways slightly. So it's not like completely straight. It's more at an angle. There is like the arm sticking out. So it's just, again, kind of creating a, a nicer kind of um, perspective, I guess. Yeah, so sometimes when um, we take photos, like standing straight can be quite tricky because if your model doesn't know what to do with their arms, it's just gonna be very stiff. So like if you have stuff like the bench, for example, like we did in the previous example, it's good for you to maybe just sit back a tiny bit. Yeah, just kind of lean, lean against again. Exactly, perfect. Maybe even if you have like, do you have pockets? Maybe like one hand in your pocket? How does it look if one of your legs is going to be slightly bit more sideways? Yeah. yeah. Or kind of more, kind of like, almost like resting against your, yeah, exactly. Yes, perfect. I like that. Yeah, and even one hand in the pocket. And maybe if you have your thumb sticking out instead of, yeah, perfect. Cool. Yeah, I love that. 
just creates like a, again, nicer line with the open limbs. Cool. What if you have this hand resting on the bench? Yes, exactly. So I think the key is to find poses that work. They're not always the ones that look the most comfortable. Same like with female poses. You probably wouldn't necessarily sit like that in everyday life, but... So for portraits, it's always good to find, to have your subject have something to do with their hands because it's usually the kind of the most awkward. You can obviously take just a simple photo, just straight on, but it's just a bit... Um, it's just okay so you have the um little yeah so we can play with that we can play with the jewelry yeah if the man that you're shooting doesn't have any jewelry maybe they will have a watch if they don't have a watch it's always helpful to maybe bring some with to accessorize a tiny bit and so just give them something to do with so it creates a bit more texture yeah exactly if you have like bracelets or like um a lot of guys wear watches if you have watch you can be like oh what's what's the time it's time to go <laughs> It's time to get the f out of here. Okay. Now another thing that we can do is you can walk around and maybe just like the way you were kind of sitting in the previous shot and now stay here. And maybe if you just like, yeah, if you get your exactly perfect. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's really cool. So for the portraits, I'll probably go for a 70 or 50 mil. But I feel like, especially when you're shooting with guys, it's a bit different. So again, for this one, instead of just standing straight, that moves quite a bit. That moves quite a bit. Yes, let's not break it, <laughs> or let's not break you. <laughs> While we're breaking this um, it's kind of nice yeah for him to either lean on this this is also nice because we can have this little part here so he can maybe put his hands up and so on so it will be nice okay yeah maybe again instead of having straight hands yeah exactly play with yeah perfect how does it look even if you like roll up your sleeves like kind of like yeah exactly yeah that's nice Holding your palms together is usually pretty good because it's kind of like, it makes the shoulders look kind of nicer and more, more defined as well. So it's kind of nice to, to play around with the hands. Perfect. Yeah, great. Yes, that's really nice. Interesting back. Maybe again, maybe have one hand in your um, pocket. And now let's move around here. And like, so you can kind of maybe, yeah, exactly. So this is a nice thing if you want to have a portrait and you don't really know what to do with the hand. Yeah, that's nice if it's a bit closer. That's great. If you can find something that your model can put their hands on, that's pretty handy, like as a bench, like with the previous ones, or maybe even something like that where he can like hook his fingers up because it's just, again, all about the texture and cool. Yeah. Sometimes if you don't have another option and your model has to stand straight, um, it's always good to just like instead of stand straight for one, just super, yeah, nice and exciting. Perfect, maybe just like put your hands in the pocket now or just one pocket, yeah. Cool, that's great. That's great, yeah. And now let's maybe have your hand up kind of by your, yeah, exactly. Yes, exactly. Playing with the hair is always a good idea because it kind of makes, first makes the model a bit more comfortable because they're something with their hands and not just standing there. Um, so yeah, playing the hair, maybe just like on your neck. Yeah, perfect. Have a few like laughing ones as well. So just like, yeah, and kind of look to the side, like, haha, look down. You're like, haha, you're so funny, ground. Hilarious. I'm a master of that joke. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, and let's do that again. Yeah, perfect. Same with for portraits, it's kind of good. Just have that, yeah, and then maybe like look down, which, uh, yeah, perfect. So again, you're kind of keeping the hands occupied. As about face, it's always good to eat 
um, have the chin down, so have it a bit more kind of at an angle. So if you chin down a tiny bit, yeah, and look down at me, yeah. And yeah, and chin up a bit. Another thing that I see a lot of male models mo uh, doing is clenching their jaw because it like, mm. it does, it moves your cheekbones. Another go good option um, is to cross your arms. It's usually pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, chin up and kind of look down at me. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of a nice angle as well. Cool. So this is another good option for a shot if you have like a space to put your leg up. So there's like one leg that is straighter and the other one that's bent. I've showed you guys this pose before for women, but it applies to men as well. That's pretty good. Yeah. And then he's leaning his back against the, the thing as well. His elbows are bent, so it's nice and straight. Can we have one? Can you like, with one of the, yes, exactly. Just don't fall. Yes. Perfect. That's great. And again, with the portraits, it's kind of good to use a pose like that to kind of create a bit more of interesting angles because he has one arm up, he can lean his head. Okay, so sometimes it's also really good to kind of, it all depends on what le um, level you shoot at. So if you shoot kind of below eye level, and then if you're shooting at eye level, and then sometimes if you go down, it's kind of nice as well. Same with girls, if you want to kind of elongate somebody, and make them look even taller than they are, then shooting from down is always a good option because they always look a bit taller than they really are. Not that you can ease it, but that's really nice, yeah. And it also kind of puts emphasis on his limbs a tiny bit. Cool. Nice. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the tips. Um, as I said again, make sure to follow Luke on his Instagram. It's going to be tagged down below. And if you did like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.